Rebecca, I need you to help walk me through. I just, I'm so. And then. Yes, it is okay to feel angry. Not only is it okay to feel angry, it is entirely appropriate to our dire circumstances to feel alight with fury. Good, because I am mad. You should be mad. You can start out with being mad at the Senate and Senate Republicans. You can be mad at a Senate that blocked Barack Obama's judicial nominations yep. um, in hundreds of cases. Right. You can be mad at Senate Democrats who didn't fight harder and more fiercely against it. God, there's a lot to be mad at. You can be mad at a Senate that has confirmed a record number of Donald Trump appointees, including many who have been rated unqualified. That pretty much You can also be mad at the Electoral College. Yeah, that too. Plus Christmas is coming up, which means so many more sad women are gonna be forced to write Pelotons. Welcome to your cry ride. <laughs> it is your responsibility to be livid. We are surrounded by inequity, injustice, and broken and perverted systems we should be angry. Inequity, injustice, and broken and perverted systems. That should be the 2020 slogan. There's so much to be angry about. In fact, some people are even angry at RBG herself. It's very natural that there are going to be a lot of people who are reasonably critical and angry, and they're going to want to look for an outlet for that anger. And a lot of them are going to look at Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who did not choose to retire during Obama's administration. Should people be upset with her over that? I think it is problematic to lay all of the blame and villainy for our current predicament on her shoulders, but I think it is equally problematic to have held her up as a perfect and one-dimensional hero who is no more than a t-shirt slogan or a coffee mug slogan. It's really important and understandable that we look to her and celebrate her work. Her record was certainly not perfect. Her record of legislating around tribal lands was not perfect. Her record of hiring African-American clerks was problematic. It's perfectly normal that people we admire are also disappointing. They're human beings and therefore complex. So it's okay to feel frustrated. What's not okay is to think that the future of our judiciary and our democracy rested on her shoulders alone. Though to be fair, I did hear that she used to do high interval training with The Rock. Right. The notion that our survival depended on her survival was always flawed. Well, yeah, when you put it that way. Ruth Bader Ginsburg's career in part was built on working to change the system. And that's what we need to do, is work to change the system. You know what, we should drink to this. Cheers. To staying angry. And to changing the system.